Welcome back everyone and in today's news Microsoft might be buying Discord and new Pikmin game comes to mobile devices. Let's go. Nintendo announced in a tweet yesterday that they will be collaborating with Niantic to launch a Pikmin augmented reality mobile app. With the massive success of Pokemon Go, Nintendo must have seen it fit to dip their toes further into the AR field with a well-known franchise. You can head over to the Niantic Labs website if you want to be alerted on future updates on the project. The app is set to launch later this year. Resident Evil originally launched in March of 1996 and is celebrating its 25th year anniversary this year. To coincide with the celebrations, Capcom announced that they will be dropping Resident Evil Showcase in April. Although they have not specified what exactly they will be showing, it is probably fair to assume that some updates on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil Reavers will be shown. So be sure to be on the lookout for more concrete date concerning this event in the new future. A report has emerged that Sony plans to shut down their PS3 and PSP stores by July 2021. With the PS5 being Sony's main focus and the PS3 being out of production for almost five years already, it doesn't come as a surprise that Sony would want to shut down their services. If these reports are to be believed, best you get to those games you always wanted to buy on the PlayStation Store. In an announcement on the website, Amazon Games said that they had opened a new gaming studio in Montreal, Canada, which will focus on AAA games. In a quote from their vice president, Christopher Hartman, he says, Montreal's rich vein of creative talent will be a valuable asset as we continue building our development and publishing teams. The highly skilled and experienced team at our new Montreal studio shares our commitment to creating best-in-class online games and brings them a wealth of knowledge and passion for building deep community-focused multiplayer experiences. I look forward to watching them invent on behalf of customers as they grow their team and develop their first project." End quote. Their first project will be an online multiplayer title based on a new IP which shouldn't be too surprising as a genre of game is very popular and some of the teammates on the development team come from the Rainbow Six Siege online game, which is very popular. So, yes, looking forward to many great games from that studio. Black Legend is a turn-based RPG set in fictional version of 17th century Northwest Europe and was announced late last year. In it, you lead a squad of mercenaries through a wide world to try and stop a madness inflicting fog from ravaging the world. There will be 15 classes to choose from and an alchemy system that you can use to deliver devastating combos onto your foes. Black Legend will be available for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series and Switch on March 25th. As part of Nintendo's 35th Mario anniversary, they sold a bundled Mario collection in the form of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. The game contained Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. But they've always been clear that they wanted to limit the sales up to a certain point. Well, it seems they were very serious about this. They intend on stopping production of the physical version and the sale of the digital version by March 31st. Fans are really looking forward to at least having the digital version still available on the eShop but it seems it will not be the case. So if you still haven't picked up a copy of Mario 3D All-Stars, be sure to do so by March 31st. After Microsoft's acquisition of ZeniMax, it looks like Microsoft is still on a purchasing spree, and this time it could be Discord. Discord is apparently looking at various options, including selling or even going public. Microsoft has always been open to expanding their gamer subscription base and purchasing Discord could add some value products like video and screen sharing for Game Pass owners. Video applications have grown substantially over the last year and Microsoft could potentially use the app for other non-gaming related functions as well. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching and if you liked this video, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe for more up-to-date gaming news. See ya!